Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shovel Knight. In the last part, we finished the game! Um, so you might be wondering, well, what the heck, or what are we doing here? Well, this is the bonus episode. Um, wonderful, let's see, the inner struggle. This episode I'm going to be showing the one person I didn't, Misery, I think her name was, and, or am I thinking of another game that has the character named Misery, I don't know. You break this wall and hello. I'm Shovel Knight. How are you doing? Sigh. I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm strained here, shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need 100 gold first. Mona. All right. I'll conjure up some t things, and you can hit them toward the targets for points. Okay. This is her mini game. You just hit the, these bottles, then it they hit the targets. I don't remember how much the red ones are, the green ones are worth three, the blue ones I'm pretty sure are worth one, the blue ones are worth one, the green ones are three, the red ones I'm not sure. Um, the red ones split into multiples and have a chance to hit like a ton of them. So yeah, that's probably the best chance you have of hitting the like red ones is the red bottles. Okay, so the the red, the red panels are, uh, ten. Which, at this point I have, and this is her final, like, oh, no it's not. I was gonna say this is her final, uh, thing, but there it is. 131. You got 131 points. Good job, I guess. Take this and come back if you get bored again. Okay, so she pays you for it. Um... I kind of just forgot about her, and seeing her with, like, Spectre Knight, like, playing the game with Spectre Knight, reminded me. And I figured her game doesn't take that long, so instead of not showing her at all, I'll put her in the bonus episode. So, the next thing that we'll be doing in the bonus episode, and the bonus episode might be a little bit longer than normal, but it's a bonus episode, so. Here we have the Hall of Champions. Let me fix my headset. There we go. It was a little a bit off. This is the Hall of Champions, the living... Okay, I read this before and then decided not to do it. Wonderful. Clearly a discerning patron of the arts. Enjoy your visit. Little did she mention it's haunted. Yep. Let's talk to this chap. Ack, this place is haunted. There are ghosts roaming the halls and we're all trapped here. That includes you. Ha ha ha. So are you going to do something about it? As a matter of fact, I am. The only way to get out of here is clear the ghosts, so let's go do that. This is actually a pretty neat um, mechanic, because these things you were never able to kill, but you hit this ball, it shockwaves, and it kills them. And you'll know when a room is empty, because it will, um, the lights will turn on, basically. You can actually get some height on this ball here, like, like if you are dec even half decent at, like, hitting it a bunch, you can get some decent air on it. And there has to be, I was gonna say, there has to be another one. Yeah, here we, we're here we have this. And I'm not sure the portraits in the background, it might be developers, that's what I think. Oh, and here we have fake... Fake, uh... God darn it. We have fake, uh, floors. Okay, you know what hit me so that I don't have that floor thing? Because it's like a Lunk's ability, I have to have full health. Um, I actually don't know... Oh, you know what? That's how. I was gonna say I don't actually know how to get this thing back up there. For one, that way. Two, you could probably just go down the ladder and it would respawn up there. Either way... I'm pretty sure that's a empty one. So, all you're doing for the Hall of Champions is hitting this hitting balls around trying to hit the ghosts. Whenever the ghost dies, die, it gives you 200 gold, which is nice. Um, get up there. I think there's a breakable wall somewhere. I think I missed something, actually. Let me get I'm sorry for this, but let me go back, because I think- stop it. I think I missed something. Did I? Yes. Yes, I did break this. Ah, the ghosts will never reach me in here. Solid walls, my friend. Totally safe. Sure they are. So, get that. This chest. 
And this tr this uh, music. But that's not all. Come over here. This one little thing. And get this, get this map. Some of you will instantly recognize that symbol. A map with a strange symbol. Perhaps it has was lost some by, by someone. You will. Some of you will instantly remember what that symbol is. I've never personally played the games that that's from. You're, you're gonna see who it's from, though. That is the main reason to come here. That is also a place... The thing that shows up from getting that is a PlayStation exclusive. I'll get into right now what the Xbox has. The Xbox gets something from Battletoads. You fight the Battletoads. This one? Well, we'll see. I've learned during my travels that ghosts hate light. Now you know, too. I kinda noticed. I can't believe I saved up all my money for this. Yeah, well, you get like 5,000 in one stage in this game, so, buddy, you got the short end of the shtick. And probably the most annoying part is waiting for a frickin' ghost to get back so that you can kill it. Re-kill it. Um... And then missing or something, that would that would just be terrible. Um, there we go. Oh, you know what? Be... Be wary. Um... This part can get pretty annoying, honestly. Mother... The... the some of the ghosts can be in kind of annoying placements. Ah, my ear. I don't know why my headset was just really hurting. Um, I don't think I have to redo those rooms. Let me go check. I don't think so. That would be stupid. Yeah, you don't. I mean, the ghosts are back, but the rooms are still lit, and I think that's what matters. So... <sighs> Ghost, get back here. I hate this part just for the having to wait for the ghosts. It's so tedious. So, come on. There we go. Okay. Break this. Break this. There's a ghost. Come on. I don't know what just caused him to do that, but okay. Um. If you do any kind of physical attack near the ghost, it'll dissipate, and you have to wait for it to re- form, I guess. So just don't attack it and hit the ball towards it. Boom. This room should be lit up now. No? Why not? Why isn't that room lit up? Oh great! You blew up my secret hiding spot. Now the ghosts will get us both. I don't care. Okay. This part... The knights show where the the hidden, like, the floor breaks away. So just jump over where the knight's swords meet the ground and you'll be fine. Um, where's the last ghost here? Oh, there you are, you little bugger. Okay, I don't even care enough about that 200. Just come down here. Yeah, they do hide, so... I mean, they're ghosts, what do you expect? Just work your- what the heck? Oh god darn it. That's also really kind of annoying. Is that hit me? Oh, come on. Okay, come on. Hit two for one, okay. This is the room that, like, I did that the first time where you just don't let the ball fall. Two for one again. So where's the last one? Has to be just right there, yeah. Don't, don't walk out the door, thank you. Okay, there we go. Um, this should, yep, there we go. This place does have a boss! I have no idea what its name is, but it's... Oh god, I don't have any Ikor left. It's not too difficult. Hitting it with two balls, energy beams, doesn't actually do anything more, but I don't know why, but I like doing it, so... Oh god darn it. No! Okay. I actually don't... I suck at doing this boss. I don't know why, I just don't... I'm not good at his pattern. 
I don't even really know what his pattern is. I don't know if he has a legitimate pattern. Oh wait, maybe hitting it with both balls does actually do something. My d dad said he didn't do anything different. But I guess I just looked at the life meter and it definitely did more. I don't know what these skulls do more. I never was hit by them, but come on, one more hit. Come on. Yes, okay. And l this time I didn't die. I died last time I fought him, so... I don't know what doing the Hall of Champions does in the normal, like, version, like the 3DS or Steam version, but in this one it does have that map, so let's get out of here. Hero, thank you so much for saving us from the ghost menace. How thoughtless of me not telling you the place was haunted. Then again, that's the risk you run paying for something in advance before you know the details. Please allow me to reward you first for your gallant bravery. Thanks. Not even close to what we paid for. But, we got that tr map, so what? Who is that? Let's find out. Who is this strange traveler? Black Knight, is that you? Why have you lured me here? You know not to whom you speak, Gardener. Get out of my way. Nonsense. Your disguises and trickery won't deter me. Show yourself or be gone. Athena! Is this yet another test? Am I to face this foolish peasant without even a proper weapon? That's right. Kratos. Then so be it. Prepare yourself for, for the Spartan wrath of the Blades of Chaos. <coughs> I'm sorry, doing his voice for just a second? Okay, um, Kratos. I should have gotten an Icor for this, because you know what? He's about to heal himself. And I don't think there's a way around it at all. And heal that face, though. Now instead of um, pulling himself towards the wall, he'll pull the wall towards himself. Um, I don't know if he hits harder, because I don't usually watch like my life bar, except for like, hey, I'm dying. But, okay, apparently he can pull himself towards the wall, but he more often than not pulls the wall towards himself. Um, if, you con if you constantly jump on his head, then he'll do an upper attack, and when he's in his second phase, he'll ram you into the wall. Here's the second phase. We're falling down. But your jump is extraordinarily floaty, and I hate this part. I'm not even going to try to fake it or anything. I absolutely hate this part. I died so many frickin' times. What the? How did I not die there? Whatever. I don't know how I didn't die. I shouldn't be comp- What the? Okay, can I do this? Oh my god, I actually did it first try. I died like 10, 15 times when I did this for the first time. I'm not gonna complain though, that's neat. But, enough! In your hands a mere farmer's tool burns with the fury of Hades. Surely you have the god's favor. I shall call you the Ghost of Shovels. You as well, you as well are formidable, Ghost of Sparta. Your technique is unlike any I've seen. I bid you a good fortune in your quest, whatever it may be. My fate lies elsewhere. Take this gift. It proper, if properly honed, it could uproot the the olive trees of Olympus. Gravedigger shovel, a decrepit shovel fit only to move dirt. Maybe a smithy could find a use for it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god, I didn't know that. You can knock his thing off and he looks ticked as heck. Okay, yeah, um, for the Sony thing, they added Kratos. But, let's go, f we, well, he said a smithy might be able to do something with it, so, let's go see the only smithy I know of. Need something forged? Har har. A, a gravedigger shovel? Where'd you come across that relic? Maybe I can temper that tool a bit. Hand it here, fella. Hand her here, fella, sorry. Hit, 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 hit. 
Oops. Well, good news and bad news. Boyo, the shovel, she fell to pieces. The pieces smelt him into some fine I armor. The armor? I call it the armor of chaos. You see, the only thing I forge better than armor is names! Haha! -ha. Armor of Chaos. A plate of fiery fury. Collect orbs to fuel your rage. This is the only armor, except for the Xbox exclusive Battletoads armor, that changes your attack pattern. To show the attack pattern? Let's go to... Apparently not there. I don't want to take on an entire stage. I mean, we can just go here. Let's just go to one of the towns, actually. I don't know why I'm being so stupid. Um, I could have done it at the forge. Um, his normal attack now looks more like something Kratos would do. Um, when hit... I forget if it's when hit or killed or get kill enemies. Eventually you will get up a meter, your thing will your body will glow and when you fire a beam will go across the screen. The nicest thing about this armor and I could see speedrunners taking advantage of it to get across pits, you float and you could easily easily use that to get across pits. But now that I have shown that um We've beaten the game, uh, I have shown Kratos and Mona, we have all of the... Let's end this by giving music to Bard, actually. Let's, let's give Bard some music. I'm sorry for, like, the clicking and everything, like, in the game because of the moving, but... Hey, Shovel Knight, I just received a book of mysterious songs from a faraway band. Brand, I mean, land. Anyway, I've added them to the song, What Can Humble Bard Play Me a Song? Splendid, what would you like to hear? I'm not going to go through all of these, but we have 24 of 46. We got main theme. Uh, the one I'd really like to show off is... Special One. The Blades of Chaos. Take on the God of War and prove your metal. Play. This is the song that plays when you fight him. Um, I just clicked it twice because the thing is delayed, the recorder is delayed. Um, wonderful, let's see. The Donner's Despair, make it spooky. They said I don't understand, it's an art gallery, why spooky? Now that I have this music sheet, I can, okay. But, now that we have beaten the game, which was last episode, we have the Armor of Chaos from Kratos himself. Uh, that's gonna be it for Shovel Knight, actually. Shovel Knight is done. Um, next time we meet, we'll be in a different game. Um, I don't know what game yet. I need to really think about it and decide what game I want to do next. But, you know, next game, man. So I can't wait to do that. And I will see you guys in that game. Thanks for watching.